What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We just sold out 2021 Top Team Museum Collection Baseball. Uh, this is uh, six box half case break. Pick your team's number 14. So, again, all card ship. This is the second half of the case. And here we go. PJ with the Cardinals basketball mojo. Alright, so let's do this, guys. So, I haven't pulled a frame yet. And to be honest, guys, I thought our frames are case hits. I've done two cases on on uh, IG, and I haven't hit a frame. I'm kind of sad. <laughs> so, I hope we get a frame on this side. I've hit the sketch card 101s, but is it either or? Because I feel like I should have been seeing a frame. Or at least one. Jeez. Once I just was, got horrible cases. Well, that's what I thought too. I mean, I've been seeing the one on one sketches, but I mean, like I said, I, I haven't personally seen my frame yet. Chad, I'm waiting on a submission too from February. It was a regular. Uh, I don't know, man. I mean, some people have been waiting, have been waiting like, you know, six to eight months since February. So, I mean, I don't know. It, it, I wouldn't be surprised if we don't see it till like, December, to be honest. I mean, I know they said they're really almost caught up, but I haven't gotten any updates on mine since February either. My February submission that I did a five-day took five weeks at the time, and my 10-day took 10 weeks. So... I, I have no clue, man. Jose Altuve. Yeah, if it comes in October, great. I don't really have any crazy items in the regular that I did, but. Okay, yeah, so yours might take a while then. Which I think you kind of knew what you were getting into with bulk. So yeah, maybe maybe October, but I, I don't know. I mean, if not by then, then... So some people have been waiting up to eight months since February. You know, from... And we got their stuff in February, March. Waited eight months. So I figure we have to do the same. Kettle Marte. McCutcheon to 99. Canvas collection and Another Justin Morneau on this side now. There's two of them in a whole case. Minnesota Twins. Howard. Yeah. But it'll all be worth it, man. If you get the grades you want... You know, depending on what you have in there, some people are like that waited like the eight months for theirs, like it was like perfect timing for whatever they had in there, you know. So that's why I was telling people, you know, if you were trying to grade like in February, good time to drop off a big bulk of like football because you should be getting it around football season, if anything. So if you do, you know, you might be perfect timing. Jeff McNeil to three hundred. I just have like. 
two prism based like Zions that I submitted and like two Sabrina Inescus. I just I didn't really have a big submission. I only had like ten cards total. But I didn't want to pay like the quick oh this one feels heavy. I didn't want to pay the you know five day, ten day for those, so I just did regular. Ice in there. Gotcha, gotcha. I heard, I seen 23, or heard 23, I figured it out. Sounds like a track dice kind of number. All right, we got a gold frame. That should be out of 10, I believe. Save that one for last. Freddie Freeman. <laughs> I know. I know. I feel like I don't want to get rid of any of like Herberts that I have that, especially the Oregon Duck ones. But you know, I I got I bought a lot of Oregon Duck Herberts before obviously he started because I didn't expect him to start super early. Obviously with that injury to Tyra Taylor, Bryce Harper. But uh, you know, I picked up a nice Color Blast Raw off like customer. Picked up, like, you know, a nice PSA 10, like, orange autograph to 49 from Prism Draft Picks. I picked a lot of nice Oregon stuff. And then the hype on Herbert is starting to pick up big time. I just recently seen Joey Gallo to 25. I ended up grading that Prism uh, Color Blast Collegiate, the Oregon Ducks one, and it graded a 10. I just recently seen that. One of them recently sold for, like, two grand. And I'm just like... It's like, man, you know, should I should I hold on to it? You know, I'm a big fan, but at the same time, I only bought that for like 250, I think raw, at the time, because I figured, oh, I like him, I'll invest into him, just like Oregon stuff, and if I decide to sell because he does well, I'll sell it. But it's like I feel like I'm too attached to it now. But you know, do I wait and maybe does it go up during the season because he has a great a great season, Willie Castor, or you know, what if he doesn't have a good season and then it's not a two thousand dollar card anymore? <laughs> it's like. I have decisions to make on a couple of my Oregon Duck ones. Xander Bogarts, gold frame for the Sox, Chris Walker. I know it's not at all, and I should be happy, right? I shouldn't be too greedy in a way. I, it's just that it's like Oregon Ducks, and like I only bought it because you know he's an Oregon Duck, and I love the school. But yeah, I'm just like I gotta real I gotta remember that I bought it for an investment to like flip eventually, you know, especially if it's the right time. And I feel like Herbert's just such a good time to sell right before the season because you just don't know how it's gonna play out. You know, we can predict him to be good, like I think he will be, but and stuff happens, right? 
I have a beautiful, like, immaculate RPA. I have a beautiful immaculate RPA at a 10. It has a beautiful Rose Bowl patch. That one, I don't know if I'll ever get rid of. <laughs> but th even those RPAs have gone up a lot. Gotcha, Chad. You know, yeah. I would have loved to go to Oregon if I ever had the shit. If I ever had the chance. Would have been hard for me to leave home though. With family here. But I would have done it like if. You know. If I could have. But yeah like. I have a beautiful Rose Bowl patch. Like shit is sick. But that's like one I'll, I don't think I'll ever get rid of. This one right here. I bought that off a customer that hit it from us like in a hit draft when the Legio was happening. Dude, Chad, I'm not gonna lie. I love Oregon. I've always have since like Dennis Dixon. But when I played football in high school, uh, our school colors were exactly like like the Huskies. So like, I used to like love Jake Locker when he was there. I really wish it, his career in the NFL would have been much better. That dude was such a stud. I actually went to one of the games here. I, I want to say I remember it was USC when they upset USC. I think it was here in USC too. Uh, that one year when USC was really good. Yeah, Jake Locker was a beast, man. I'll get on. <laughs> I've always loved quarterbacks. So, like, you know, college quarterbacks. Dixon, Masoli. You know, obviously Mariota. When I was in high school, like, playing football, I used to venture out, too. I used to love, like, Pat White. All those quarterbacks in like 2008, 9, 10, 11. I'm not sure, Richard, but I would definitely try to get that graded. He'll be in the Hall of Fame soon. And I think Dwayne Wade's cards are definitely still underrated. He is definitely a future Hall of Famer. And, you know, I think he'll, he should start selling for a lot more than he does right now. JT Romuto to 25. Ooh, was that Alec Bohm? Yeah, very nice. And Steve Carlton, Phillies. And there you go, and partial owner of the Jazz. It's part of the group, right? John Lester. I just remember Jake Locker being a very tough quarterback. Like, great, you know, great uh, running out of the pocket, great, you know, just mobility and all that. But, man, he used to take some shots, and he used to deliver some shots, too. <laughs> that, dude, that dude would run over people. And Trevor Story. There you go. Not one of the older guys you're looking for. Oliver, but you got a little Trevor Story, though. Uh, 18 out of 50. Next box. This box feels heavy, too. I have in the past seen two frames in a case. But see, the thing is that Tops does a oh listen no, Tops does a really good job. I mean, I think everybody does honestly. Uh, really good job of hiding like certain cards, you know, especially like when people want to waste stuff. Like, 
Okay, when it gets to extreme of like weighing a box, I guess you could feel the difference, but sometimes, you know, just like the way we do it, obviously breaking. You, you think it's heavy, but then it's really not. This one felt just as heavy as the one, um, the one with the frame. Oh, was he really? Oh, well, that makes sense. Why? Yeah, I love Jake Locker, man. I do so good. You metal detect these? That's pretty. That's pretty. That's pretty. Uh, a little extra, but all right. I guess it works. It's like you're at the hobby shop, your local car shop, and you have a metal detector. I want that box. <laughs> Mike Schmidt. Damn, that jockey just took a hard fall. Oh man, they took him in a stretcher in an ambulance. You guys see that jockey just like getting run over? To 150, Anthony Rizzo. Shane Beebs. Joe Adele. With the little Will Myers. Yeah, you know, it was this weekend, Oliver, and it was last week, and my mom got to go. I didn't get to go last weekend because I couldn't because I was working, but um, Brady Singer. You ever check out 66 Night Market, Oliver? I know they're sold out. They sold out yesterday and today, like yesterday, but there might still be tickets available for tomorrow. You should try to check that out, Oliver, if you, if you haven't already. I've been going to that for like the last like three, four years. It's, it's pretty fun. Hunjin Ryu. 13 out of 15. Whoa, actually, this card is super damaged. Good lord. I'm over here just looking at it right now. It's like a defect. So, what I can do is I'll add a wrapper and the box topper to the Toronto Blue Jays, which is Stephen George. Um, and you guys can try to see if you can get that. Yeah, that's at the uh, Santa Anita Racetrack, Randy. So cool. They, al they also have expanded to Orange County like a year or two ago. They have it at like the Costa Mesa Fairgrounds, I believe. Uh, they also, I think, are expanding like northern and like in san diego too if i want to say but yeah 626 night market is legit man it's so cool so much food and so much like different things to do it's it's really a good like date night slash you know family trip you know kind of deal it's really cool and we have a top museum collection baseball quad relic xander bogarts jd martinez chris sale and rafael devers No, actually, Randy, I would love to go tomorrow, but actually, I actually am covering for Sean on Instagram, so I will not be able to go. But uh, they are returning again in August. They come back in August and then in September. But yeah, you should check it out, Randy. You got to purchase it online now, and like I said, yet today's sold out like yesterday and the day before. Uh, but they have like anything you could ever want to eat there. Like it's, I honestly would go there then to like the LA County Fair. <laughs> They also have games now. They have live performances. They have, like, you know, all the, like, you know, just like if you were going to a fair, really. And it's only, like, five bucks to get in. I'll show you guys some photos of the night market when we're done with this break. It's so cool.
Oh shit, Rex has good, uh, huge news. He has been drafted by the Chicago Cubs. He is now leaving Kroger's to work for the Cubs. There you go. Now you can sell that at the National. That'll be your excuse to go. Sell that baby at the National. What? There's other breakers besides us? And Rex shops elsewhere? Sad times. I feel betrayed. I feel betrayed. I know, side breakers. Can't get enough of the side pieces, right? Alrighty, guys. Second to last box. Mookie. Ryan Mountcastle. Christian Pache to 50. I don't know. I figure roughly maybe the same. It's whatever a Yankees fan's willing to pay. And I, I would have to think that there's a lot of big Yankee fan, fans that would, uh, would love to have that. <laughs> I know, right? It's like, wow, Rex hit a one on one wood frame Derek Jeter. Oh, yeah, he hit it from Jaspies? No. And then everyone's like, oh, what? How could you, Rex? There's Jeter. And Willie Castro. To 349. Jeets. Joey Bart and archival autograph of Marco Gonzalez for the Seattle Mariners. Well, Logan, you know what? If it's your, if it really is your birthday, and uh, happy birthday, first of all. But that would be amazing because you know, you wouldn't even have to have gotten yourself a gift. And Luis Severino. <laughs> I'm just joking, Rex. Congrats, though, man. That's sick. And a little Ichiro. Alrighty, guys. Last box mojo.
Well, that's what I was telling Oliver. That's what I was telling uh, Logan Oliver. Is that if if it looks like it's gradable, um, you know, definitely just try to grade it. Like it's worth the two three hundred dollar investment right now, Logan. Especially if it is gradable. Cause even if it were to get a nine five, not even a ten, or you know, PSA ten. I mean, hell, even PSA nines are going up. Um, it, it'll probably make it a little bit more valuable than what you have it at already. And you know, you can have a minimum grade too if it doesn't grade more than a, you know, a nine or a nine, whatever, etc. then you don't have to put it in a, in a slab, but it, it's only going to increase your profit that you're already making, you know? So I don't know. I would do that, but of course, if you don't really care and you just want to get rid of it, you know, you definitely can, but it's like, you know, that two, $300 investment right now, it can turn into two, $3,000 more, you know, especially with a player like Otani. You know what I mean? Cabrian Hayes. That's when it's definitely worth it. Those are the cards you should be paying, like, you know, the two, three hundred dollars to do, like, a one, two day, you know, grade. Brady Singer. Another one there for the Royals. Kyle. Kristen Yelich. Casey Mize. And Xander Bogarts to 50. And a nice Joey Barks. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying, you know. Try to see if you can get someone or yourself if you they have tutorials online, but you know, get a microfiber cloth, you know, clean it out. Or like I said, some people I know in some Facebook groups and shit like that, like even some places, some card shops that do local submissions, you know, they can kind of clean it up for you just in case. Uh, but yeah, I would definitely send in that bad boy. Like I said, it shouldn't hurt the value even if it comes back a nine, but if you do like BJS comes back nine five, even better. If you do PSA, it comes back a 10, you know, even way better. Alrighty, Nick Madrigal, and then we're going to end it off with a Michael Conforto. And definitely right now, Shohei Otani is a good time to, to sell him right now. This stuff is just exploding through the roof. Alrighty, guys, and there you go. That was Topps Museum Collection Baseball. Uh, we did get one of the case hits. It was a nice little Xander Bogart to 10. Appreciate it, guys. One more break coming up, and then we're going to call it a night, which is Mosaic Soccer. So thank you, guys. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. I don't know if we have any more of these. Uh, if we do, it should be posted for tomorrow uh, with Joe. But, yeah, appreciate it, guys.